Pattern Area Patterning can be a great way to embellish a design. There are three tools that you can use to pattern areas. Hatch Area will pattern an area with parallel lines in one direction. Crosshatch Area will pattern an area with parallel lines in two directions. Pattern Area will pattern an area with cells. The Pattern Area tool will be used to create a concrete stippling pattern for the concrete dumpster pad as well as the sidewalk encompassing the proposed building. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will Pattern Area. Continuing in the proposed site plan, zoom to the area where the concrete dumpster pad is located. Make the active level Concrete Pad. From the Annotate Ribbon tab, in the Pattern Ribbon group, pick Pattern Area. In the Tool Settings window, click the Browse Cells button. The Cell Library dialog opens. From the Cell Library dialog, pick File, followed by Attach File. Navigate to the folder, MS Basic Civil, Standards, Cell. Select the roadway.cel then click Open. In the list of available cells, scroll down and select CONCRT. Along the icon bank of the Cell Library dialog, click Set Active Pattern Cell. Hint: To view the size of the cell, you may also want to double-click it to temporarily activate the Place Active Cell tool. The cell is attached to the pointer and you can change the active scale in the tool settings to find the right scale. Then reset and reactivate the pattern area tool. In the tool settings window, set the following options. For the method, flood. For the pattern, CON, CRT. The scale, 0 0.01. Annotation scale, enabled. Angle, 0. True Scale, Enabled, Locate Interior Shapes, Enabled. Issue a data point inside the area of the dumpster pad to preview the boundary. Then, issue another data point to place the pattern. Take note, it is possible that an alert dialog may be displayed. This can occur because the current zoom or annotation scale. If this happens, click OK. Next, you will pattern the sidewalk adjacent to the proposed building. Pan or zoom to bring the entire proposed building into view, including the curb lines. With the pattern area as the active tool, issue a data point inside the area between the curbing and the edge of sidewalk. Confirm the preview boundary and with a data point to place the pattern. During this lesson, you learn to pattern area. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.